Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I am Stephanie Buffamonte. A year has passed legislation went into law to reform the practices at the VA, especially when it comes to veterans and opioid addiction. The Stevens Point family that helped push for that legislation is now seeing how it's changed the Toma VA. New Shell 7's Kevin Carr shows us how the bill is improving the lives of veterans. After today's tour of the facility, both the Sam Cuskies and Senator Tammy Baldwin say the facility has come a long way since the law made in Jason Sam Cuskies memory was passed last year. For Marvin Linda Sam Kusky, walking down this hallway at the Toma VA is an emotional experience. Brings back memories, you know, when you start going in the halls. On this wall, a picture of their son Jason. A Marine who died at this facility in 2014 from a deadly combination of 14 prescription drugs, including opiates, under doctor's care. But through his tragedy has come hope. Last year, the Jason Sam Kusky Memorial and Promise Act, or Jason's Law, took effect to ensure veterans at VAs nationwide get treatment they need. After its first year in effect, the Sam Kuskies say they're seeing progress. It's just a big change from from when we first started going there. The VA had a serious problem with um, veterans who were seeking help and getting hooked instead. We're seeing uh, how that's turning around. Wisconsin Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin is one of many Republicans and Democrats who helped make sure Jason's law gets funding for a second year. She says a tour of the VA shows evidence that care for veterans has improved. Number of veterans on high doses of opioids is uh, coming down. Veterans experiencing pain have treatment other than opioid treatment. But the Sam Cuskies and Senator Baldwin say they're not done, as they'll continue to make sure money put into the funding for Jason's Law is used wisely, and that what's happening here in Toma happens at other VAs as well. Jason's pushing us to keep this going, and, and um, you know, we'll never forget. In Toma, Kevin Carr for News Channel 7. Continued funding for Jason's Law was implemented last week, which benefits programs such as the VA Office of Patient Advocacy, implementation of opioid therapy, and clinical practice guidelines. Now, a 2015 Inspector General's report found two of Jason Simkuski's psychiatrists did not follow consent rules. The report also showed VA staff were slow to respond to Jason's overdose and did not know how to properly perform CPR or use defibrillators. More than an hour passed before staff administered an opioid.